Sema Kuma. Welcome to the Ivano TV. Please subscribe. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ivano TV, and I'm your host, Catherine. So, guys, uh, kuna vitu zingine niliwambia kama kweli uko kwa nyumba ya warabu. Kama kweli uko katika nji za warabuni. Kama kweli we ni kadama. Nikawambia kuna vitu zingine ufai kufanya ukiwa kwa hiyo nyumba. Angalieni hii video enye iko hapa. Nataka tu muwatch tu pole pole mpaka mwisho alafu mtaniambia. So unapata wa Kenya wengine they are just innocent suffering because of someone there in TikTok. Alafu nikawaambia hizi likes za TikTok na comments za TikTok sizifanye wa Kenya wengine waanze kuteseka kwa sababu yako. Isifanya mtu asi anyimwa wifi kwa sababu yako. Vitu zingine tunafanya hata hata ikuwe ni kemboi. Mimi I respect makemboi so much lakini huyu kemboi sijui akili yake kama inafanyanga kazi. Si, mimi sijui nitasema nini but it is not good. Yaani unaambia mtoto um, mtoto wa Mwarabu unamwambia hivyo. Huh? Imagine this Arabu anakuanga na mpaka translator. What if at a translator sikie vile umeambia mtoto my friend what will you do? Do you know they can arrest you for forever? Na to make the matter worse uko Saudi Arabia. You are supposed to be a role model. Lakini sio kufundisha watu tabia mbaya mbaya. Why all this? Bona unaambia mtoto aseme hivyo surely. Alafu hizi ni vituko gani unafanya kwa nini kwa live? Angalia ebu imagine mwarabu mwarabu wake ampate hivyo. Mtu anaenda tu anaonyesha watu mapanti. Anaonyesha watu ndio huyo mtu na pad. Anavalisha sijui whatever pad hata akimaliza she can't even uh, aezi hata nawa mikono then after that unaona mtu ndio huyo eh anakunywa nini dawa za family planning live live on camera ebu imagine mimi nikikuja live kwa nikikuja nini tiktok alafu nianze kukunywa dawa za family plan alafu unfortunately ama accidentally my madam apatane na hiyo video ama si stake ama maybe waititu what will come to their mind maybe nalala na waiguru wake what is the meaning of taking uh, family planning lively na we ni kemboi what does that teach us are you a confused element next is time kunywa hata arv Mtu amekaa Saudi miaka kumi. Hmm? Ni kama maisha imemshinda anaona ile kitu yenye anapaswa kufanya ni kukuja tu kuonyesha watu uh, live akikunywa sijui dawa za, za family planning. What is the meaning of that surely? Na we ni kemboi. Must you bring everything? Must you bring everything in social media like seriously? Must you show us what you guys you are doing? Must you expose other kemboys? Nataka sasa mtuonyeshe wao hata Saudi Arabia kuna kuna uh, kuna nini? Kuna dawa za, za kuzuia mimba. Hmm? Wacha kuharibia makemboi wengine nini wewe. Wacha kuharibia makemboi wengine kazi. Stop exposing yourself. This is too much. How dare her you na unaambia mtoto wa Mwarabu atisema nini? Eh? What if hiyo video iende viral alafu mamake apatane na hiyo video? Don't you guys in no sheria za Saudi Arabia? Don't be posting posting someone kids in social media. These Arabu wanapenda privacy sana. Ni wapi imagine wa Kenya mimi kwanza wa Kenya wa Kenya ni kama mumerogwa. Wa Kenya especially wa Saudi Arabia you guys tell me why you guys 
You are so much interested in posting Arabs kids in TikTok, but watoto wako utaki kuwa post. Does it mean you don't like your kids? Una post watoto wa Arabu ama what is it? What is it? Why are you posting watoto wa Arabu kwa TikTok? Na watoto wako, yani wewe uko na watoto lakini utaki kuwa post TikTok. Unataka tu post watoto wa Arabu TikTok. Does that make sense? Wa Kenya mna, mna na mtu akiuliwa, mtu aki, akishikwa, mnaanza kusema oh alishikwa bure. Oh ameuliwa bure. Oh amekatwa mkono bure. Eh? Hmm? Vituko mumejaza hapa Saudi Arabia. Ni nini mbaya na nyinyi? Like seriously, why? Why? Wengine ndio wao wameenda wakachukua dhobu wakaanza ku dance eh? like we, we, we have to respect someone religion wacha ni kuvaa madhobu za waitito alafu mnaanza kuingia TikTok juu kwa sababu waiguru wangu akipitia kwa hiyo video pia mimi atasema na mimi huwa naachwa kwa nyumba peke yangu watasema pia mimi nafanyanga vituko kama hizo na ndio hiyo unafika nyumbani una, unakuwa mwenda wazimu Unafika Kenya unakuwa mwenda wazimu unaanza kusema umerogwa. Kumbe ni wewe umejiroga mwenyewe. Let us respect. Uh, uh, mimi sijawaiona mahali kumeandikwa atidhobu inafaa kuvaliwa na wanawake. Alafu wanaingia TikTok wanaanza kushake huko. Wanaanza kushake shake keyboard shake. Why? Dhobu ya waitito hata kama wewe ndio umejinunulia dhobu there is no way you utaniambia ati utakuwa unavaa hiyo dhobu hiyo dhobu it is made for men and not for women kwani why do they have dhob and then they have hizi mahampa ya hizi mahampa ya za wanawake zenye huwa wanavaa wanajifunika mpaka kwa macho Ushaona okay let me just ask you a simple question Ushaona wanaume TikTok wenye wako hapa Saudi Arabia wakivaa mahampa ya alafu wana shake body body shake huko TikTok Ushaona and why kama ujawai waona wa, wa Kenya wenye wana hata wa Afrika hata wa kina nani wenye wanafanya kazi girl hakuna hata mwanaume mmoja hivi ushaona aki, aki shake body body shake na hampa ya lakini wanawake ndio wanavaa hizo manini manguo za waitito madhob wanaanza ku shake body body shake why that is disrespect hizo nguo it is not made for for ladies and you Kenyans you have to style up na nyinyi ndio mmejaza vituko hapa why is it that not Uganda Tanzania eh? Rwanda Colombia eh? Zambia Mozambique eh? Why is it that kila time ni wa Kenya wa Kenya? You guys you need to style up. Ha. Ah. Guys subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about this video at the comment section. My name is Catherine and you are watching the Ivano TV and welcome back to Gulf Online Media.